Hello guys, Brewmaster here with another great ale review, I hope. Um, this one I have not tried yet. Um, everything I've had from Terrapin Brewing Company uh, has so far been pretty delicious. Um, almost everything. They do make a lot of beers and some of them are pretty uh, experimental, I guess you would say. But uh, for the most part, I've liked everything I've tried. And this one is uh, something I believe I will like. It is their Muhu Chocolate Milk Stout. Um, this is one of their seasonals. Uh, I think it's just a fall release. Late fall. It comes in at 6% ABV. Um, let's see here. A little history from Terrapin. They are out of Athens, Georgia. Let's see. I think... They, yeah, they started in April of 2002 uh, with their rye pale ale. And like within six months, I believe it was, they'd already won an American Craft Beer Festival Gold Award for that beer. So that's pretty awesome. I mean, they came right out of the gates, you know, uh, making some pretty epic stuff. Uh, this one is, uh, like I said, 6.0% ABV, 30 IBUs. Uh, let's see. They have, so so far since 2002... I'm sure they will continue to grow, um, but they have upgraded to a 40,000 square foot brewing facility, and I think they are brewing a, over just over 100 barrels per year. Or no, not per year, but 100 barrels at a time they can brew. So that's pretty epic, pretty huge. Um, they have their own canning line. Um, if you go to their online store, they have uh, some merchandise you can buy, which I've actually thought of because I do like all their labels. Um, let's see, Beer Advocate gives this one an 88 overall, and the Bros give it an 88. Nice strong B plus, and Rate Beer gives it a 96% overall and a 95 for style, so a nice A plus. Um, here lately, I've been getting uh, a lot of beers that they are fairly close in ratings on, and usually that's not the case in, in my experience. But uh, I don't know. I've been doing. I've been being lucky, I guess lately. Um, let's see. I think these come in 12 ounce cans in either a six or four pack. It's only about the only way you can get it. I don't know that they make a keg. I don't think so. Um, it does say to service about 55 degrees. Now, I've had it out of the fridge where it was about 43 for about 15 minutes now, so it's got to be getting pretty close. Um, I'll read you a little bit of what the, care, uh, the can says here. Uh, the Muhu Chocolate Milk Stout proudly uses cocoa nibs from Olive and Sinclair Chocolate Company to give this beer its chocolatey great taste. Um, more cowbell, it says across the top. Uh, let's see, what was I seeing here? Uh... Okay, it uses two row pale, flaked oat, crystal 85, chocolate malt, uh, DH Carafa 3, and roasted barley. Um, for the hops, it is Nugget and Willamette. Um, and as it said before, the olive and Sinclair cocoa nibs, cocoa shells, and lactose. Um, the lactose gives it a little bit more sweetness and uh, helps thicken it up also a little, I think. Let's go ahead and get a pour on this one and see what it looks like. I'm actually pretty excited. I was given this one so that I could do a review. Um, I believe it's out now and around here, but I haven't seen it yet. Let's get a pour. That is pretty dark. Gotta be careful I'll overflow this thing. So as you can see, that is a really dark, dark brown head. Almost a milk chocolate color. Um, it's really tight, compact little bubbles Inters interspersed with, if I could say the dang word, interspersed with some uh, larger bubbles. So um, it's kind of a mixed thing. Lots of little bubbles streaming up. It does appear to be solid black. I can't see any light through it whatsoever. And I've got a pretty bright light in the room, so um, pretty, pretty solid. Uh, the head retention looks like it'll probably be pretty good. And poured with a nice two-finger head. So, as expected for a, uh, a beer with a lot of oats in it. Let's get a nose and see what this one smells like. Mm, definitely lots of chocolate. Mm, lots and lots of chocolate. And... It, it's got a little of both. It's got a little bit of the like bittersweet baker sort of chocolate, but it's got even more of the sweet milk chocolate sort of an aroma. Mmm, that chocolate malt and that lactose sugar and those cocoa nibs all coming together to make it very, very chocolatey. 
Um, I can get a slight bit of like a vanilla and just a little bit of the malt. It's hard to really pick up the, the dark roasted malt in the smell. Mainly, I mean, a little bit of coffee maybe, but mainly just chocolate. Let's go ahead and get a taste and see what this one tastes like. Cheers, guys. Hmm. Well, there's a lot more malt in the uh, flavor. But it pretty much goes with the smell. Um, there's a, a, a little higher than normal sweetness, but not too sweet. A lot of milk chocolate, a little bitterness from the hops. Um, I don't think the bitterness from the hops is quite enough to balance the sweetness, but it's still really good. Um, there's a little of that vanilla in the taste. Definitely some dark roasted malt. Um, maybe some really dark bread. There's definitely like that yeasty breadiness. Mm. All in all, it's very tasty. Um, um, it's not really a super heavy mouthfeel. I'd say, honestly, a really heavy medium mouthfeel. Not quite into the heavy, heavy side. I've had a lot, a lot thicker. <laughs> hmm. That's actually very good. Nice lacing. Nice, very dark khaki foam sticking to the sides there. I know um, this tulip glass is not very big, but I like the uh, the way it pours for stouts and some Belgian Belgian ales also. And I just like I don't know it's it's probably just in my head, but it seems like I can really get a good smell out of the tulip. Mm. Lots of coffee smell in there, but I don't get a lot of coffee in the taste. You can definitely get the lactose, that lactose sweetness, and that little—it's a little thicker from the oats and from the lactose. All in all, very good. Um, I think I would have to rate this. I can't quite go ninety. I don't think. Probably right at eighty-eight or eighty-nine. A nice strong B plus. It's a good beer. Um, like I said, I, I haven't tried much from these guys that I didn't like, and this one is uh, no different. It's pretty darn good. Um, if you like chocolate stouts, then I think you would probably enjoy this. Um, you don't get any alcohol at all. It, um, I know 6% is not super strong, but usually, you know, 6%, you can tell. But you, with the with this chocolate and the dark roast, it hides it completely. Excuse me, guys. Um, all in all, like I said, pretty good. Nice, strong B+. Um, please, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you like the video, please subscribe. And stay tuned for lots of more good ale and beer reviews coming up really soon. Um, I haven't been posting as many as I used to, and that is going to change. I'm putting a few up tonight. I'm going to be putting more up this week. Um, you guys have a lovely evening. Cheers.